Hey, YouTubers. I'm making this video because of some of the reactions that I've had with my uh, my 15-part series so far on the biblical context. Um, in a way, it doesn't surprise me, but uh, I can see some misunderstandings that I do believe I'd like to clarify. So I'm going to do an interim video here just so that I can clarify what's going on. Apparently, you Christians are just not getting it. Um, to, to accuse me of being on crack, something I've never done, <laughs> and I know it's only one of you uh, juvenile arguers who are accusing me of that, and I, I'm going to slap you just a little bit. If that's how you're going to act with me, then uh, I'll be nice to you, though, but let me just explain a couple of items first. I am using Christian scholars in order to discuss the biblical context. I cannot be plainer than that. I am not using Mormon scholars. I am using biblical scholars. Okay? Let's get that straight. I only used one Mormon scholar, and he's going to be for the last three videos. And the only reason I used him is because he has serious Christian scholars who peer-reviewed his book, and Steve Wiggins, one of the foremost Bible scholars and archaeologists, actually insisted that Eugene Sage's manuscript be published. He said it was that good. He said this is an important contribution to biblical studies. Sage was a Mormon. And his book is controversial. But it's also solidly scholarly. And I've had his manuscript for ten years. I've already read it several times. His book is delightful. But these are Christian scholars. William F. Albright. I quoted William F. Albright. Now, anybody who studies the Bible seriously is going to know who he was. The greatest biblical scholar and archaeologist of his day in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, and up into the 70s. And what he says is going to absolutely positively blow you away. But it's about the Bible. It's about the Bible God. It's about Bible creation. I think it's interesting that I'm accused of being on crack and I don't have the love of God in my heart and um, golly I'm trying to attack the Bible. Are you trying to ruin the Bible or attack the Bible or destroy the Bible? And I'm using Christian scholars. Margaret Barker is a Methodist preacher in the UK people. William F. Albright was a Protestant Christian scholar who was the greatest of of the great. Frank Moorcross Jr. is a Christian. Susan Ackerman is a Christian. Mark S. Smith is a Christian, so far as I can tell. Raphael Patai was a Jewish scholar, so far as I'm aware. He might have been a Christian, I don't know yet. All I know is I'm using your own Christian scholars and you accuse me of being crazy and on crack? Well, how out of date, how out of touch with reality about the Bible does that tell me that you are? You know? I can't remember the handle of the guy who, who gave such a juvenile, immature, ad hominem attack against me personally. You don't know me from Adam. I have never done crack. I never will do crack. What has that got to do with the biblical evidence that I've presented? Absolutely nothing. Are you going to talk about the Bible with me? Or are you going to just ignorantly stick your head in the sand and accuse me falsely? You've bore false witness against me. Does that make your argument any more powerful? That is as stupid an argument and an ad hominem as I have ever seen. That's how much credibility you have. Exactly none. 
So are you going to deal with the biblical evidence or not? I'm using Christian scholars on purpose because you Christians, you get mad at me because you say, oh, well, you, you act as if you have the truth. And you don't. Christians don't have the truth. Tell me you're kidding me, would you please? I've got to pinch myself to make sure I'm in the same world. So you Christians don't believe you have the truth, huh? Now that's a fascinating discussion. Is that what you're willing to admit? So this idea that I'm wrong because I think I have the truth leaves you Christians up the creek without a paddle, doesn't it? You're going to try to proclaim who to me? Jesus. <gasps> wow, he's the truth, the light, the way, you know? You guys got to start thinking through your arguments. If you're not even studying your own Christian scholars, Frank Moore Cross, absolute top dog world class, William Albright, Susan Ackerman, William G. Dever, a biblical archaeologist, Margaret Barker, a biblical Methodist preacher, on and on and on. And all you can do is accuse me of being on drugs? Holy Toledo, are you that bankrupt? Are you really that bankrupt? I presented in good faith evidence about the biblical context because I assumed some Christians wanted to have a good conversation about the Bible and its context. Well, if you're going to ridicule the information that I've given you about God and it comes from your own Christian scholars, what's that tell me? about your belief in your own Christian scholarship. You're obviously ignorant of it, otherwise you wouldn't ridicule it. I can understand that you disagree with it, but to ridicule it? That's just juvenile stupidity. Are you going to get serious? I've studied my own Mormon scholars very seriously for decades. I'm also studying your Christian scholars very seriously because they're very good and I like studying the Bible. I like studying the scholarship of the Bible. These are the guys who are finding the archaeological discovered texts, they're translating the texts, they're interpreting the texts, they are publishing their translations of these texts, and they are publishing them in university settings. Oxford University Press, Harvard University Press, Wayne State University Press. This is serious peer review process. These aren't the only scholars who are translating these texts that talk about God being married and siring children. And yes, with his body. I have a text that is translated by several different scholars. E. Theodore Mullen Jr., another Christian scholar whose PhD dissertation translates out a genuine archaeological text that God has a penis. Get over it. If you don't like your own Christian scholarship, then get after them. Not me. I'm using your scholars. How ironic is that? I know your scholars better than you do. There's irony for you. Just like I suspect I know the Bible a lot better than you do, too. Yes, I agree. My information does not jive. It does not make you comfortable with your understanding of the Bible. But I can promise you something. I can see by your responses so far that your understanding of the Bible certainly isn't accurate. <laughs> so you better start doing some homework. Because we are. We seriously are. So... I wanted to clarify that. I'm not attacking the Bible. I'm explaining the Bible using Christian scholars, world-class Christian archaeologists, and scholars, and biblical thinkers. Except in one case, a Mormon. And he had the Christian peer review process in his book. So, I appreciate you watching my videos. I appreciate your comments, but can we talk about the evidence? Can we discuss the Bible and quit worrying about what I smoke, what I eat, you know, how many times I fart in one day, and so on and so forth? That has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Okay? Can we stay on topic? Thanks. Sheesh.